Hello, and welcome citizens and soldiers of ITER Nation, your home for everything technology related, and your lens to peek into the digital future. iOS 16 Beta, what to know before you download? If you can't wait for iOS 16's public release, you can download the developer beta to your iPhone now, but there are some things to keep in mind. Apple's iOS 16 is still in its developer beta phase after being unveiled at WWDC 2022 earlier in June. The iPhone maker's latest mobile operating system is only available for members of the Apple Developer Program, but you can download it right now if you like. Among the new iOS 16 features announced so far are a redesigned lock screen for the iPhone, the ability to unsend or edit text messages and improvements to Apple Maps. And while the upgrade isn't slated for general release until September, we'll walk you through how to get your hands on iOS 16 right now, even before it enters its public beta phase. Although it's easy to download and install iOS 16, be aware that this pre-release isn't intended for general use, especially because, like all developer beta releases, iOS 16th of May currently have unfinished features. These early beta releases are intended for developers, to help them keep their apps up to date while also providing early access to the newest features. This is all to clarify that you probably shouldn't install this on your main device if you really want to check out this version of iOS 16. But perhaps instead of spare iPhone that is new enough to work with iOS 16, the iPhone 8 or later. If you do want to take these steps, we'll also show you what you need to do in case you need to revert back to a stable version of iOS 15. Before you download iOS 16, here's what you should know. Because iOS 16 is an early pre-release version, the software will be full of bugs and other issues. Again, if you're thinking about downloading iOS 16, do it on a backup or secondary phone, if available. The iOS 16 beta previews issues could cripple your phone and make it difficult to use, disabling phone calls or text messages or making it extremely laggy. However, if you only have your main phone or tablet available, make sure to back up your device on iOS 15 before updating to iOS 16. That way you have the option to return to iOS 15 if there are too many issues on the new OS. Also, you must have an iPhone 8 or later to run iOS 16. The next mobile software update will not be applied to the iPhone SE, 2016, iPhone 6s, iPhone 6s Plus, iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus. If you haven't already, enroll in the Apple Developer Program. The first step to get iOS 16 on your iPhone or iPad is to enroll in the Apple Developer Program if you aren't already a member. If you're on your iPhone or iPad, here's how you can enroll. 1. Download the Apple Developer app from the App Store. 2. Launch the app, go to Account and tap Enroll Now. 3. Sign in with your Apple ID credentials. 4. Read through the various benefits and instructions, enter your personal information and scan your ID to verify your identity. 5. Once this information is submitted, you must choose your entity, individual for most people, and agree to the program license agreement. 6. Finally, pay the Apple Developer Membership Fee, with Apple Pay, which is $99, about £80 or $140 Australian dollars, a year. After you successfully make the payment, you'll be redirected to your account page in the Apple Developer app. Here you can verify that you're now enrolled, and you can also check out the date of your membership's expiration next year. Thanks for watching citizens. Like, 
share, and subscribe to stay in the loop and help spread the good news of the bright future that lies over the horizon as technology grows to improve our lives and helps push the world towards fulfilling the true promise of its beauty. Until next time soldiers. Learn, love, lead, technology, and computer science. Peace.